everyone welcome to my channel Kimba's Crafts my name is Kim and if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos and checking it out I hope you enjoy what you hear and see and maybe you'll come back and check out more of my content if you are returning from a previous video as always I appreciate your continued support we are here today for an unboxing it is from the company Oraloa uh, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I have been working with Oraloa for quite some time now. As always, I appreciate Oraloa for reaching out to me and asking me to showcase some of their beautiful work. I am a huge fan of Oraloa. I'm currently working on one of their projects. And I honestly, I can't say enough about the quality and everything else. So always excited to bring you something new from Oraloa. I've had this in my possession for a couple months. Um, this is a gorgeous painting. I just wanted to show you that uh, this is how it comes boxed. So it did come in this heavy cardboard shipping box. I'm just gonna throw it aside here. And it had all of this packaging inside to keep it from getting jumbled around in there. And this is all that was in there. So this box, okay? It does have a plastic cover over it. This is what the Oraloa box looks like. It's a premium diamond painting canvas set. So they are a premium diamond painting company. This is their logo, Let Your Creativity Sparkle. On the back here, we have instructions and kit contents. And then we have a picture of the, the actual painting on the side and the end cap here, okay? So I'm gonna show you from the side first it doesn't have as much information, but it is a larger picture. And this is the one I chose. Isn't he adorable? So this is, uh, it's called, the painting, it's called Renard Loon. And it is from the artist, Vayonette. I love Vayonette's artwork. And there's quite a few of them from her on there. So if you're a fan, you need to go check out all the things that they have from her. Um, like I said, on the side here, there is a little more information, such as the size. It is a 61 by 46.6 centimeter, and it is a round drill diamond painting. Okay, and it is just so cute. Look at that fox and the lanterns. It does give me kind of like fall vibes, right? So let me go ahead and get into this. I hope everybody is having a great day, a great week. Um, I've been meaning to record this video for over a week now. Aha. All right, we are out of there. Okay, so inside we have everything wrapped up and inside a dust cover there is a skew on the dust cover um, some people will store their paintings outside of the box and their drills and everything separate so this prevents you from mixing things up so i'm going to go ahead and set the drills aside we're going to look deeper into that. This is the tool kit. This is also wrapped up inside. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this. I'm rolling this backwards, which you can do with poured glue. This is a poured glue canvas. Most companies are nowadays. Um, I don't even see a lot of budget companies that aren't poured glue at this point. But yeah, it's safe to, to roll backwards. And this is just, it's not necessary, but it's just to get it to lay flatter, flat faster for us because we're doing a video. Okay, so rolled up inside, here is a pamphlet. It has Welcome to the World of Oraloa in multiple languages. Um, let your creativity sparkle, instructions, tips and tricks. And then let's look at the toolkit first. They always have some goodies in here some little extras. It is branded 
There's a lot of branding with Oraloa, which I love. So they give you a little card here that says thank you. There's all their mascots. There's quite a few of them. We have the Hula Girl on the plastic card. As always, I always say you can always put a magnet on the back of this and collect them. Um, here is a sticker, Welcome to Oraloa Tropical. Here is another sticker. We have a basic drill pen with a multi-placer on the back as well as another multi-placer. We have a squishy for comfort. We have a pair of very sharp purple tweezers. We have a caddy with three pads of blue wax. And then we have their branded washi tape. And honestly, I've been using this when I do their kits just because it does match. It is Oraloa kit and there's plenty on here to get the kit done. Um, and then a white boat. Okay, so that is their basic toolkit. We're just going to set all of this aside here. We'll put that back together later. And this is, well, let's look at the canvas. I'm sorry, I don't want to make you guys wait too long. And here it is. Oh my goodness, so cute. Just adorable adorable so many ideas for this as well we will certainly look at the ebs but yeah there's a lot of things you can do with this i love it it is it is very cute and i can tell you this one is going to work up very very quickly very quickly so here is the sticker sheet let me let me try to get some more light in here hold on did that help? I think so. Here is the sticker sheet. Here is a nice large picture. So we have the fox sitting on a rock with the moon, a crescent moon in the background. We have three lanterns given off a glow as well as the moon. You can see a glow off the fox here. Very cute. And then you can see like trees hanging over. Just leaves. There's like some shrubs here, you can see. Very misty, here's a cloud. See, very, very cute. It's like too cute to be spooky, but kind of spooky. Does that make sense? <laughs> so again, it's by Renard Loon and the artist, I mean, I'm sorry. So again, it is called Renard Loon and the artist is Vanette. Okay, we have 50 colors in this. 50 colors. It is a very natural, and then we have a lot of dark in the background. Look how big these stickers are. I love these stickers. Yeah, so these are pre-cut stickers, and as far as ABs go, we have four of them, and one of them is a dark one, which will be very interesting, and then a gray. You know I love my gray ones. Okay, so we'll definitely see where all of those go. Um, this is a premium diamond painting company, so you do have a felty background. Scalloped edges, poked holes. Okay, we have a nice thick, I love how heavy their cover sheets are. I just like a, a thicker, heavier cover sheet. Let's take a look at the drill field, very clear. So you will have to be careful how you place these drills though in this background here. I probably won't be able to use, you see how much color blocking there is? Oh wait, look, it is a mixture. There's fives in there. So it's not all one. I thought it was all like from here, it looks like it's all one um, symbol, but no, there's a couple symbols in there. The five in the star, which is 310 is the five and the star is, 939 so but um you know you have you're gonna have to get those drills right on that circle or you're gonna see the white behind it so it's gonna that's gonna slow me down otherwise as you can see there there is quite a bit of color blocking in this the, the fox Let's see 
lots of color blocking in this. Um, like maybe here in the shrubs, there's a little confetti. Um, a little, little color transition here, but then we go right back into more color blocking. Maybe a little bit here of confetti, but it's really just two symbols that are kind of mixed up. So it, it is a lot of color blocking, but because there is a lot of these white circles, still going to have to take my time. Um, I'm very particular. Like I don't like seeing half white moons um, behind my drills. So uh, that's going to slow me down. Uh, it's not my favorite. I'm just going to be honest. It's not my favorite to have those circles because of you know, I might even have to single place. So there's that, but he is super cute. So cute. Um, let's take a real quick tour of this canvas. We have a drill. I mean, we have the legend on the left and the right. Okay. They're both facing the same way, but we have one on each side in the middle on the top. We have Oraloa. At the bottom here, we have the schematics again, 61 by 46.6. Again, artist is Veyanette. This is called Renard Loon. And there's that skew number, so you don't get confused. Let your creativity sparkle, bottom, middle. And then all of their social medias, go ahead and share your progress and tag them. And again, SKU number is on here. But real quick, I'm going to pop you off. We're going to take a quick pan over of this cute little canvas and we'll look at the drills. I'll be right back. guys I hope you enjoyed that pan over let's go over the colors here so these are individually bagged you can certainly just take those stickers off of the sticker sheet and label these bags and be ready to go if that is how you kit up all right so we have one five one um one five one one five four 159, 160, some blues, 161. These are like blue grays. Here is 310. There's no way that's all the 310. Is that all the 310? Get out of town. Seriously? Okay. 311, darker blue, 317, getting into some grays, 318. 322, 413, 414, lots of grays. 435, 517, there's a lot of blue in this. 550, I love my grape. I wonder where that's going. E, oh, and, and behind, right here, like around the moon, I guess, like the light from the moon is making that dark black in 939 into a purple shade. Love that. 610, 677, 725, Ooh, some yellows, 726, 729, 820, I always love 820, 823, 833, it's like a mustard, 834, 842, 898, 932, and this is 939, okay, so this is the one that's there's the most of, two bags, two huge bags of this dark 939, and that one is the star. 
So 310 is the five, so there's just not as many of them. 3012, this beautiful olive. 3031, 3045, 3064, 3772, 3776, 3781, 3799, 3821, 3822, 3854, 3860, 3861, 3862, 3863, 3864. Oops, that's where you're coming from. One of you guys are open. Let's just get you in there. This guy is open. Oh, you know what? 938 is not an AB. Does it say it's an AB over here? It does say it's an AB here, but it's not an AB. It's not an AB. So that's interesting. So, so I thought it would be interesting to see a dark brown AB. So it says it on this sheet, but it doesn't say it here. On here, it does not say 938 AB. Okay, so we have three ABs in this. We have this beautiful orange 742. And if you don't know what an AB is, it stands for Aurora Borealis. And I think maybe this is the best one to show you on. Usually the yellow, I mean the oranges. But you see how it's just plain orange and then some of them have that iridescent coating on top. That's what an AB is. It's a special drill. And so this kit came with three of them. 742, this bright orange. 3078, this pale yellow. And then 3756, which is almost like a gray white, like an off white. Okay, it's almost got a like a blue, the palest, palest blue tinge or gray tinge when you hold it down here. Yeah, so it's really pretty. All right, let me clean this mess up and we'll go ahead and see where these ABs go and I'll tell you where I think I would like to add some. Hold on. All right, so the first AB we have is the 742. And that symbol for 742 is the check mark, okay? So the check mark I can already see. No, that's the v, that's a V. Oh, so be careful. Okay. It's in the lanterns. So it's this it's like the middle of the lanterns the middle of the light and the lanterns. That's where I see that. I don't really see it anywhere else. Okay, then we have this pale um, yellow 3078, and that is the up arrow there. And um, do I see it? I don't see it anywhere on the fox. I don't see it actually in the moon. Again, do we have it in here? Hmm. Okay, we have a few here. There's quite a bit of it, so it must be. Oh, it's the outline of the moon. That's what it is. It's this pale outline of the moon and a little bit here in the fox and a little bit here. Okay, so yeah, that's where I see the up arrow. And then we have this like grayish white very 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 pale gray grayish white um and that is that anchor 3756 and i saw that oh here on the tip of the fox's tail on his chest here in his eyeballs um anchor um i already said that do I see any over here? No. 
Okay, I think that's it. So it's really like the outline, a little bit of the white outline and then outline and then in the in the lantern. Now me, I would do the whole moon something crazy. Like I think the whole moon should be ABs and that's like Y and D and then the up arrow. I think the whole moon ABs and then Let's just check this. Y is 726 and D is 725. And then you already have the up arrow. Um, I would do his eyes like crystals, 517. They're blue. Um, I think that that would look really cute. And maybe even like this squiggly, What what is that? 3854 around him because he really needs to be lit up. D is a D and Y is around him too. I feel like this needs to be special drills, you know. Um, and there's more C down here, but I would only do the crystals in his eyeballs. And then I feel like this like smoke would look cute or it's not smoke, but clouds. So what is that line? 3864, if, if, if it's at all possible to get some of these, I would do those as well. But yeah, I mean, I, I think the moon is screaming to be lit up, right? And, and then like all of this, I think it would look a lot of, like a lot of fun. But yeah, what do you think of him? Isn't he adorable? I mean, if you're not really into like the skulls and all that, or you're tired of doing witches, this is a great one, I think, for Halloween or just that fall um, feel. It's really adorable. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimmas Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting.